Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I just got a delivery today of, of, of what I hope are the last few parts that I need to put this together. What I'm hoping to build is a small desktop jewelry lathe, something that's capable of cutting both metal, even steel, as well as wax for jewelry making. Now, I've wanted a lathe for a while, and um, there's a few, there's, according to my understanding, there's basically three good options for, uh, well, two good ones and one bad one, for making a, a jewelry lathe, or buying a jewelry lathe. You can get a Sherline or a Tag. Um, those are good mini desktop lathes that can cut metal. They're great. They're just expensive. Um, all together, you're looking at probably around 800 bucks for one of those. Uh, you can get an antique watchmaker's lathe. Those are great. And they used to be cheap. I actually used to have one. Uh, I got it for maybe under $100. I sold it, unfortunately. I wish I didn't because now, in order to get one of those, they're even more than a new Sherline. They're like over $1,000, $1,500. So that's not really a practical option anymore. And the third option is they sell these cheap Chinese plastic lathes um, that are on Amazon and eBay. They, they're not even capable of cutting metal. So they're cheap, they're like $190, but they're not good for cutting metal. So what I'm hoping is to be able to build a lathe for that price, but something that's capable of cutting metal. And I'm also hoping to put it together without needing to machine anything. I'm hoping to put it together with all off-the-shelf components that you can buy separately, or salvage or whatever. So this is what I came up with for my plan. So it's going to start as a base. You could use wood or plastic, um, even metal. I'm using acrylic here. If this works, I'll provide the vector pattern for the drill holes so you don't have to worry about uh, measuring out your drill holes. Um, we're going to use, for the bed of the lathe, we're going to use two uh, miniature linear rails. And we're going to use these bearings for to hold the cross slide and the tailstock, okay? For, and then this lead screw is going to mount in the center. And because I want more stability, oh, for, for the headstock, we're gonna use this for the headstock. You can get this on Alibaba for $20. And I'm gonna have to put a steel plate because I'm gonna wanna mount it higher eventually. But this headstock will be mounted here for a chuck. I'm using this miniature chuck I found online for $30. This will get mounted here. And for the tail stock, I will mount it on these two linear rails. The tail stock doesn't need as much stability, so I'm going to only use, I'm going to try to use just two linear rails. For, it's just going to be used for drilling and tapping and whatnot. And for my cross slide, I found this online for $40. So I'm going to have to come up with a way of mounting this to, mounting the cross slide to the linear rail here. But this is my basic foundation that I have so far. And I'm hoping if this works, I'll have a lathe about the same size as a Sherline or a Tag that can cut steel for the price or for less than the, those cheap plastic Chinese lathes you can get on, on Amazon. So if you're interested in this project, definitely consider subscribing. I'm going to be posting updates as, uh, as I complete the build. But before I go, I just wanted to show you guys one thing. Uh, maybe some of you out there have thought they would love a lathe for jewelry making. They, maybe they, they don't want to turn metal, they don't, they don't even want to spend $150, but they could use a lathe just for turning wax or for polishing. I might have a solution for you. I was playing around with this, and what I found is that if you just take this headstock, uh, without the chuck, you can get this headstock on from AliExpress for $20. So if you already have a chuck, you could use a drill chuck, or if you want to buy one of these four-jaw chucks, they're $30. You can actually 
mount this to your bench with a clamp and run it off your micro motor. Let me show you how that works. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just used a regular clamp to clamp the headstock with the chuck to my bench. Here's my micro motor attached to this articulating arm. I made this in a previous video. It's an articulating arm that holds uh, micro motors and it's for my torch, for also holding my torch. But you don't need this. You can just take your flex shaft or your micro motor and just clamp it to something else sturdy. And I'm, I'm attaching a rubber band as a belt, a heavy duty rubber band, but you don't, you could use a real belt, it'll definitely work better. This was just to see if it would work. And you can actually power the lathe right from your flex shaft. It's actually pretty powerful and I'm gonna, I'll show you how it works. Now this obviously isn't gonna cut metal, but you can use it for polishing or for shaping wax jewelry. I'm gonna put some wax in here. Let me see what I can find for a tool. And it's more than sufficient for shaping wax. Get sturdy here. See if I can find a better tool. Anyway, I think it's uh, it's more than sufficient, obviously, for shaping wax. Or for polishing. Anyway, I thought that was neat. And uh, for... $20, or if you have to buy the chuck, uh, $50 or something. I thought it's a good alternative if you're only turning wax. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I'll be posting updates on this project, so please consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.